Ooh, what's going on? Yeah, I got to wake up today. My brother came over, man. We had a nice little scuffle. It was awesome because uh, he was wasted, so he was a lot easier to uh, maneuver around than normal. <laughs> so I took advantage of the situation a little bit. Got to crack him. Cracked him with a gallon jug of water. It was pretty uh, pretty sweet. Also got a little, little arm arm twerker. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty fun. And I think uh I think the video might be out there, man. Supposedly it's on Snapchat. This chick shared it on Facebook, so I don't know. Hopefully I like uh I like having uh video footage, you know what I mean? The more the merrier in my uh in my case. I mean we weren't doing nothing wrong. <laughs> so why not? But anyway, yeah, at all, at all given times, like me personally, I got missions that prior I, I set out to accomplish in the future when they come about. Like, what I mean about this is like, all right, for instance, do you know those little, like, they're like, they look like a little piece of, uh, like, plant matter that they fly through the air. They're like a little white, little white, cottony looking thing. They just fly, a little seed carries the seed on the wind anytime I see one come floating by I stop whatever I'm doing and I try to snatch it out of the air I mean the thing about these things like those things especially like there's a trick to it because they're so light and so susceptible to the wind like even the force from you trying to go forward to grab it pushes it away as you go to grab it because it's so light it just reacts to the to your force, so you, you got There's a certain way you got to cut through, and you got to be gentle, and you can snatch it and then you let it go, let it continue back on its course. But now, since that's 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 the old mission, that was something before. Now, I'll uh, I'll use them as moving targets as they fly. I'll use my thorn method, and I'll throw. You know, I throw my uh, my sharpened stick. You know, at it and try to aim, hit the hit the floaty thing, and stab the stick in the ground. So it's like really, it's a good way to you got a moving target. You're busting through the target, and then you're still sticking. You're getting your, you know, you're getting your technique down pat. That's just for instance, this one. I'm always walking around. I got I got missions. You know what I mean? Like uh, I've set out this mission is I wanna kill a squirrel with one of my ninja spikes or a Chinese star you know what I mean and then uh, skin it and I'll take that you know pelt eat the squirrel take the pelt you know uh, dry it out man hang that fucker up on the wall and I'll be like that's my uh, you know my first kill with a ninja spike so I mean this is a mission it's, it's not accomplished yet but eventually you know it's already in there to do it you know like mind mind heart boxing you know what I mean it's my my mind was already there it was just getting the body to being uh, you know being synchronicity with that mission is the is what I'm working at right now so the other day so here's something I've been trying for a long time supposedly I think I read this this was Shaolin lore or legend or whatnot but supposedly, as a leaf would fall, these guys would try to hit it three times before it hit the ground. So, you know, being entertained to that story, you know, I'm always, if a leaf falls out of the sky and I notice it out of the, my corner of my eye, I'll, you know, I, I'll go to, to hit it, you know. So I've already tried to accomplish this one, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm getting better at it. But the other day what I was doing, you know, I, you know, you see my target practice videos, I mean, basically, there's a big tree, and it has this perfect thin bark, you know, you break it up into little squares, and you got a, a, a projectile that's pretty, they, they're pretty uniform the way they fly, so, basically, wherever I, my mind says, put it, that's where it goes, I mean, rarely does it deviate off the course, because, I mean, I'm, I'm at a hundred thousand, plus throws later so I mean from different positions angles techniques 
so I, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm an adept when it comes to throwing in particular, you know what I mean? Uh, but a leaf was falling out of the tree, and I actually hit the damn leaf with the fucking with piece of this bark. So, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that, because it's just one thing under my belt that I know that I've done. I know I've done it. I know I can do it again. I mean, did it take me about 15, 20 tries? Of course. You know, I mean, just the fact to have the patience to wait for the leaves to fall is yet a, a task within itself. You know what I mean? This is things that, you know, people don't understand about all the time and pondering and waiting. You, you wait for the proper time to, uh, to, for, to, for progression, you know, to the next stage, the next level of understanding and you with your ability your, your ability to understand it first you gotta know it then you gotta practice it until you're able to apply it every time like bam 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 every time you got it I don't even it's like when you kick off the training wheels you know I don't need them anymore but uh that's another one of my uh missions and then here or uh you know my, my, my personal goals to break or, you know, my standards to set for myself. Like, my best shot ever was I split a quarter nailed to a piece of wood with an axe from 25 feet or a hatchet. I threw it. I didn't think about it. I just threw it. I knew, you know, exactly, you know, you either got to have the blade forward or backwards. You got to know by how much, what your distances are. And somehow I just, it's like my brain knew. And I just let it loose and it... And then it split the quarter. So, I mean, that, you know, that's one under the belt. That's not that's not a bad uh, trick shot, you know, to, to be able to pull off. I mean, could I do it again? I mean, probably not, but it was good to be able to do it with witnesses. But now what I'll do, I'll go out on the lawn, you know, or I'll be practicing my throwing. And this is how I'll, I'll train myself, like my mind, to work better. I'll look... I'll, I'll point out something particular, a leaf, uh, a plant, like, you know, a, a dandelion. I'll see it in my mind, a, a piece of paper, anything, you know, that just stands out, and I'll choose. That's the target. I'll close my eyes, and I'll throw the, you know, my, uh, my whatever I'm throwing, and I'll listen. If I hear it go, if I hear two thuds, it didn't stick. It missed. If I hear thud, then... I'll open my eyes and I'll see how close it is to the target. Cause, and I'll try, I'll purposely in my mind just remember the picture as I close my eyes. And then, you know, if I do that 10, 15 times in a row, and then I use my eyes open, all of a sudden every shot's like, whoo, it's right on, it's, it's pinpoint, man, it's or it's close. It's only an inch away from being dead on center every time. This is just one way you you step it up the next level, you know, then after that, what you do, like, you close your eyes, but instead of throwing one stick, you throw two in one hand and one throw, try to get them both to stick, or you, you put one in each hand, close the eyes, throw them both like that, and then, and then, you know, you just keep, then, A, after you're great at that, put weights around your wrist, just take chain, wrap it around your wrist, so you got five extra pounds of awkwardness, and then you learn how to get enough finesse through all that extra weight to still accomplish what you were trying to do. For instance, that's just that's how you level yourself up. You know, since I'm not training with a traditional structured process, you know, I gotta you know I gotta be aware of where I need to place my energies. You know what I mean? To because the better I get at throwing sometimes it makes you better at punching or even the better I get at punching the more power I get in my throw so these things all eventually they all flood over from one another kind of like one of those big things with all the cups and you pour the one on top and then it floods down and the trickle down I mean really that's when it comes to kung fu most of your abilities are trickle down 